Welcome to Moonbase 2. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Moonbase 2 podcast. My name is Andy, Corporate Commander at TFW, and I'm joined this week by uh, the Kako Demon. Uh, it's Mikey G. Wolfie 3. Hello, Mikey. <laughs> Kako Demon! I feel like I should take that personally, but I'm rather touched. <laughs> <laughs> Loved by Doog. Did Doog. you hear that the, they updated the, the Doom Eternal game to get rid of the Easter egg? Yeah, apparently someone put it in and never got like the okay, and it was ah, oh. I like it was like oh cool we'll put it in and then it was like a licensing thing. Ah, oh, that was lame. I didn't realize it. it's it. Hang on, a licensing thing for Doog. Doog, who licensed out Doog? D o o g. I just hear the rumors. That's um, stupid. I, I did mean, see like, that uh, Caroni did get free merch from from um, Bethesda Doog. or whoever. The, yeah, no, the people Doog. were so that was cool. It was kind of like, we're sorry we had to take this out. Have a bunch of free shit. Yeah, um, have a plushy caco demon. <laughs> yeah, and then she also got like, also like, you're playing Assassin's Creed. Have more shit. And Crash yeah. Bandicoot. Have more shit. And it's yeah, like, I saw that also? video today and was like, what the fuck's going on? I, I saw a response. Like someone was watching her play. At, like a couple, like the guy that did the soundtrack for Banjo-Kazooie. Did, her, did a birthday song for her. Oh, really? That's cute. And then... There was another one where a guy was watching her play a game with the uh, hilarious sound effects and enjoyed it oh. so much, just sent her the sound effect file, the raw sound yeah. effect file. Which I, I just... I, li- I liked her response to that, which is like, what's going on? Why yeah. are people giving me free things? <laughs> people love dogs. People love uh, Caroni. Mm. Yes, it's, yes. It's the perfect very, blend. Uh, very talented entertainer. Yeah, very much so. They, mm. they chose the right animal for her as a dog. Yeah, especially when she goes nuts and does horrible things. <laughs> I, saw, I, saw one, I saw one yesterday which was her playing uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla which everyone else is excited about and I don't care about because uh, I'm playing something else at the moment but um, and she was like oh there's a dog I'm going to pet the dog stands on the roof can I set this on fire what the dog uh, or the roof the roof okay okay it's like oh dog burning <laughs> <laughs> the but, perfect yeah. expression of Corona <laughs> yeah yeah like at the moment just because my schedule like it's really hard for me to find the energy to sit down and watch shows. Like, the weekend's kind of the only time, and I've got other things I want to do at the same time. So it's like, mm-hmm. Hollow Life is kind of keeping me entertained. I have to yeah, know. yeah. I really need it's... to start watching, like, more of the, the different ones. Apart from, like, I watch Hollow Life and watch some v- the Twitch VTubers. Mm. Uh, but I need to... Because I can put the Twitch ones on in the background. But That's right. Um, I, I really need to branch out into some of the... Because it looks like there's some really weird ones in that Niji Sanji place. It's it's uh, you only have so much time in a day though. Mm, yeah, and I'm just like, but I want to see Pekka act like a fucking moron <laughs> while experimenting on things and being called out for it. <laughs> exactly, it's a strange time. Yeah, but we're here, Mikey, to talk about uh, Transformers today. We are, we are, we are. Apparently, and there's a little bit to talk about, which is the first. And I emphasize the word little, but there is a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, eh, <laughs> but no, yeah, there is a little to talk about. Going to kick off uh, kind of where we left off last week, as we talked about this guy kind of last week. We heard the rumors that the uh, Dr. Wu were doing the DW-E04 Prime Commander, and now we have images of said Prime Commander. Uh, so it's a teeny-weeny little polka dot bikini Optimus Prime mm. uh, in scale with the Beachcomber. He comes with a trailer, so Wu, uh, that's, that's, that's good, I suppose. Uh, he looks like a little tiny Optimus Prime. He does. Which is Micromaster scale. He's very so maybe weak. the smallest one? Yeah. Apart from the world's smallest? I mean, he's certainly up there. It's yeah, big. yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, he, he looks he looks good, I guess, for a really hmm. small Optimus Prime, but I feel like we've had quite a lot of small Optimus Primes over the years, so I can't really get super excited for it. Um, I think it looks yeah. more competent than, uh, as we, we talked about last time when we talked about Beachcomber, I think it looks more competent than the, the Galvatron, at, at the very least, so that's yeah. something. Do you have any thoughts on this and how many repaints he may or may not get? He'll probably get one or two. Yes, yes, I would agree. I 
I can't say I'm excited for it. No, that's fair. The, what the repaints are for this figure in general? In general. I had to check. I knew what the answer was, though. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, he, he has a trailer, and the trailer can turn into the, the base mode. No roller and no tower, though, so... Mm. Wow. Really cheaped out on us, didn't you? I say sarcastically because I don't care about the trailer. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I'm sure it will be colored nicely. Uh, for, for you not in the know, he will be six centimeters tall. That's how big this boy will be. Uh, no energy axe, but he does have the ion blaster, the classic gun, the classic goon. Mm. Uh, I don't think there's really mm. anything else to say there. It's just a, a little Optimus Prime. Uh, mm. I feel I, it's it's unless it's a styled Optimus Prime. At this point in 2020, I find it really hard to talk about an Optimus Prime with any kind of enthusiasm. And I think I've mentioned yep. this before, and I do apologize if I have. Yep, what, no. what, what else can we say? <laughs> it's the same guy, but small. Yeah, small. It's, small. Like, the, the only thing here is like they pull a twist and they're like, it's Ultra Magnus. <gasps> then I'd be like, no. Because <laughs> it's, it's the white version. It's the white version of Optimus Prime, which no one likes. Well... But less Andy, people it was like. in the comic that one time it was how many years ago was that about over 10 right 16 oof oof about 16 years ago maybe 15 oof. it's like two, nearly two-thirds of my life oof mikey yeah. do you want to <laughs> do you want to there are probably there are probably uh, listeners potentially who are younger than that reference you shouldn't be listening to the show if you're younger than that reference. The I agree. Show is 18 plus. I agree, but we can't stop what people do yet. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Mikey, do you want to take us on to the next story, my dude? My dude. My yeah, dude. we have color test shots of Fans Hobby MB12A Nightwalker, which is their version of Generation 1 Nightbeat using the Athena Mold, the Master Force, Master Force Minerva. Um,. This is obviously, like I said, it's a it's a sample, so there's some color errors and stuff like that, but it's just giving you a general look and showing you what the headmaster will look like. Um, Have they done anything to it, the mold? I, to, to be honest, the pictures aren't good enough to tell a lot of the time. It looks like there's a new chest, mm -hmm. and there's multiple, like there's two face options, one with big glasses and one without, and it looks like they're going to redo the the sides of the car with flames. Yep. Um, which I do like the pictures of the little headmaster putting it on. One, <laughs> so so I am curious about this. One thing I would urge caution at at the moment is that reports are coming back from more recent fans hobbies uh, figures that they're suffering a lot of breakage. Oh really? Um, well, like, like like parts are breaking, like the yeah, joints and stuff. Things snap. Like, oh, I don't no. know specifics, but I I know that people had a lot of trouble with that wind blade, which is using this mold. Oh wow. Okay. So if it's if it possibly it's mold degradation, then this could be a problem. Oh, wow. yeah, I didn't know that. I hadn't heard mm. that at all. But the did you hear any issues with the uh, Minerva? Or was the Minerva okay for the most part from what you know? No, not no issues I heard of off, off the top of my head. But mm. I can tell you, like, thinking on it now, I had heard some rumors that some fans hobby stuff was breaking. But right. I hadn't, I wouldn't really look into it at the time. And it yeah. just, um, I was kind of curious about the wind blade. So I was looking into that. And then I saw a lot of reports of breakages. Wow. Bummer. Yeah. Um, buy a beware, I, I guess. Uh, yeah. Maybe maybe wait on this one, see if other people buy it, and if there's a break <laughs> first. Yeah, no, I think honestly, I think that's fair. Like maybe hold off on that one, this one until yeah. you you hear reports. Um, the problem is with it third party. Like if you miss it in the first couple of months, yeah, yeah, then it's gone mm. forever. Or if, if it's not gone forever, your your wallet is. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, do you want to do the next one or will I? Uh, I could do the next one if you right. like. Uh, no, no, you, you're the Kar uh, Kurakarakiri guy. I'll, yeah. I'll let you handle this. It's, so, it's good. So, Flame Toys have official images up on their Facebook and their Twitter and everywhere else of Kurakarakiri the Fallen. Um, so this is a retool of the Tarn Mold. Um, you can kind of tell because it's got like the same really bulky proportions, but yeah, mm. it's been redone into the fallen. Like they've replaced the like the skeleton is the same, but none of the surface parts are the same. Uh, new head mold and flame effect parts that can be put on or removed. Um, will also come with uh, 
colored ver repainted versions of Terrence speakers if you want to use them. Oh. Um, as well as I believe, yep, yeah, uh, sort of a version of his cannon, uh, again repainted. Um, some extra shoulder parts, and if you order from d4toys.com uh, or buy it at a Flame Toys event, you will get a f big, big chainsaw which comes with a pair of repainted Tarn faces. Um, huh. Which can be used like the there's the the scratched one and the uh, the the pristine one, which can be used if you want on the original Taran figure, but it's basically just there to to add a bit of effect. Um, I think I think the base idea of this is good, and I think the the core layout of the mold is good. I I I am struggling to say I like the look on Tarn. He's Tar very uh, not, chunky. Uh, yeah, it's just. I think Tarn's general shape, what with him being super anime, yeah, re really works for that kind of effect. This guy's a Dreamwave design. Y yeah, and this is, and they haven't really updated the design in many places. So mm. he's got the very classic shoulders and everything else, but also means like it may, and he's got this big, big skirt, and it all makes his legs look really tiny. Um, mm. so. I like the whole package as a package. I, I can't say they've sold me on the figure. Hmm. Uh, which is a shame. I'll be honest. Um, I wouldn't say this is me going like, oh, they finally did a bad toy. Because now it's probably still <laughs> fucking fantastic. But I'm like, oh, this is this is that vibe of we had to get another use out of this mold. Yeah, rather than make a new one. To be fair, though, they probably... They probably, oh dear, probably, they probably, probably weren't. <laughs> they probably weren't going to make a unique mold for the fallen. Yeah. Uh, but then again, if that's the case, I guess why do it? Yeah. But... Yeah, like you say, the the proportions on this guy look weird. They mm. just they don't look right at all. He should be a more classic uh, robot shape rather than like you say mm. the more anime proportions that they've given him. Like his shoulders are way way too big. Mm -hmm. And he's got this little tiny waist as well. Very big child-bearing hips, which is good for he him. He does. He does. Um, he's packing. I like the flame effects on him. That's he that's is, neat. He is, as uh, as Noel would say, thick. Yes. Yeah, I um, think that's fair. I like the flame effects, and I like the new parts. I love the chainsaw. Yeah, um, the chainsaw's ace. I, I would love to see them do an original design for this without having mm. to put it on another mold. I think it would probably turn out really awesome <laughs> if because... they said this mm. was tarn cosplaying as oh, the fallen that would be then funny. i'd be like oh okay yeah. that makes a bit more sense yeah um because his name megatronus i suppose and he's like mega um <laughs> but yeah so this is gonna be 400 dollars, so it ain't gonna be Oof. cheap but hey oh um it's a it's a car car curry if you complain about that now you ain't paying attention That's true. um but yeah like when you think about their other large figures, like, they've already got a repaint of Star Saber Plan, the black one. Mm. Um, they can do as many versions of Optimus as they want. Um, if they... I think they're doing Hot Rod and, like, or Rodimus, and they can do him in at least two or three different color schemes. Yeah. Um, I Taran was kind of the the problem child. <laughs> yeah, because he couldn't reused. really be done into anything else as far as yeah. we knew. Yeah, and I, I, I feel like this is like, listen... We had to get some extra figure out of it, but we, we, we did what we could, lads. We did what we could. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I unfortunately don't think this is going to be a massive sell. I'm sure it'll sell some, of course, mm, but mm, I, I don't mm. think this will be a, a big, like, mold seller. Yeah, and I'm not looking at the comments because I don't want to see the world doesn't transform. Or Action Master. Or why would you pay for this? But yeah, this is, I, every time. I mean, this this is always going to happen. Every single time. You just think that after a few years, people will get the hint. No. <laughs> no. Um, Andy, do you want to take us onto a toy that I would put money on some, either Alex had a hand in or someone was emulating? Oh, okay, sure. Just because, yeah, of, I... just because of that face sculpt. Oh, that, yeah. That I didn't face sculpt that. is very Milne. Huh. Uh, yes, this is the Transformers Collaborative Marvel Comics X-Men mashup. Lots of colons here. Ultimate Expanse. Oh yeah, that's Ooh, terrible. I don't like that. I don't that's like that at all. That's a bad name, but that's terrible grammar. Yeah, that's bad. Even even I know, and I'm that's terrible bad at grammar punctuation, and spelling. Kids. And bad. reading. Yeah, Andy's yeah. bad. I am. I'm terrible. I need to be put away. <laughs> Imprison me, daddy. All right, so uh, oh. this is... <laughs> <laughs> I like that. What? <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, this is the Blackbird jet from the well from X Men uh, as a robot. So let let me let me let me read you some things. Hmm. The ultimate spans. Jesus. X Spans. It's, it's so much one, better. Of, one of the one of the paragraphs just says ultimate spans. <laughs> It's like the uh, the the second proper paragraph that just oh, starts yeah. with ultimate, ultimate spans, spans is ready. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be a, that someone has to have made that mistake because oh, that man. just reads really poorly. Uh, it's up for pre-order now on Target for sixty-five dollars, basically. Ooh. So that's a that's I think expensive. It's like this leader scale. Is it? Oh yeah, no, I thought this a... was a Voyager. No, no, it's a redo of the leader Jetfire. From Studio Series, is it? Oh wow! Okay, I wouldn't have they've guessed re- that. Like That's they've redone the vast, like the the core robots, completely different. Ah, um, fair enough. The, just some of the transformation schemes the same, and some of the back, some of the actual um back kibble and jet parts is the same, but very very little. Yeah, honestly, I wouldn't have guessed that. That's that's good remolding at least. But we'll, mm. we'll get on to opinions of the figure soon. Uh, it'll be at the retailers on the th- uh, the first of the third, the first day of the third month because america does things backwards mm. uh so that's uh march yeah the first of march uh game stop uh stup, game stop and hasbro game pulse stup. that's right uh they'll be doing it it's a it's a blast from the past they say these are buzzwords that they're throwing in here <laughs> so here's the description you've all been waiting for it transformers robots uh, have always been dash more than meets the eye dash in brackets and he cuts his wrist end brackets but now <laughs> <laughs> through the Transformers collaborative fan experience <laughs> they do these have larger than li- more than meets the eye I didn't notice that before what's that I didn't notice they had like dash more than meets the eye they literally put in that bit where you go they've always been more than meets the eye yeah they're, they're like nudging your shoulder going eh? 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 And we just are go, they in no the more. skies please I, I don't want to kill myself but you keep pushing me you keep uh-huh. making it easier <laughs> Uh, fans can experience these larger than life characters as they team up mash up mash up oh, okay and meet up wow someone was really pleased with this description uh, with other characters <laughs> jesus christ teams and people who share the same special qualities so by the way what? so far we've done ghostbusters uh-huh. back to the future yep and top gun uh has it been any more I think the Top Gun is really a good capper so far. If you want to talk yeah, about I, people, that, the, I, the, the clear special qualities that brought Top Gun into this. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm yes. Yeah. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Worlds collide in Transformers dash X dash Men mash dash up a pack. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of dashes. Oh my god, that's so many dashes. That's so many oh, dashes in just a small send it amount back of time. To the editor, please. Yeah, this, again, it just seems wrong. <laughs> it seems wrong on so many fundamental levels. The Dear iconic. Sir, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to no, keep doing do the it. dashes. Do it. Do it. They put right. it out there. Do it. All right, fine. I'll do it. The <laughs> iconic X dash jet from the X dash men. Animated series is now transformer uh, is now a Transformers robot called Ultimate X Dash Spans Exclamation Mark. Unlike the Sentinels, comma, Ooh. this robot is the ultimate mutant ally. I this what? this fi- he's the ultimate mutant ally, I suppose. Well, I the. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> this figure converts into a licensed Lockheed. Martin does Lockheed he... Martin? What's a does Lockheed he really... Martin? Lockheed Martin's the the um the Blackbird. Oh, okay. Because I like it, uh, okay, the the the, the X Men Blackbird was based at least in part on the official Blackbird. Ah, I didn't know it was it was a called a Lockheed Martin jet though. Okay, well uh, that's something. Lock- Lockheed Martin's a pr- the company, I believe. I was hoping you were gonna say brand. It's somewhere. Jet Aaron brand. is like screaming into his hands right now. <laughs> Like Excellent. it's a helicopter. It flies upside down with the rotator rotators going up. You know that way. That's how it gets lift. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah, fights yeah. against. It pushes against the ground. Mm-hmm. And gra- no, sorry, gravity pushes it away from it. You That's see, it pushes it. air down, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. that lets it fight against gravity. You know, it's like blowing ah, really you. hard. I get you. Yeah. yeah. 
uh, in 34 steps and features decos and details uh, inspired by the X-Men animated series. Mm. Not just them in general, I guess. Uh, this figure comes with Wolverine and Sabretooth minifigures that can ride on uh, in ah. both modes and three energy blast flex uh, effects. Jesus Christ. Uh, you get claw and slash effects to attach mm -hmm. uh, to the figure's hand in robot mode and an aura effect to attach around Wolverine's minifigure. Transformers what? and related characters what? are trademark. No, hang on, hang on. Roll it, roll uh -huh. it back. Roll, roll it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An aura fit. Why does uh, aura effect for Wolverine? Oh yeah, for that time he he spent twenty minutes powering up. How could I forget? I think someone suggested that it was meant to be a reference to the X Men games. You know when he goes Bazaka Barrage and he Bazaka does the X Impact. You know uh, when he jumps in the end, the big X symbol appears around yeah. him. Because I've seen people say the 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 slash effect part is to do with Psylocke, but I feel that might be a stretch. One of them is the single yeah. one is, and the triple one is meant to be a reference to another. Wolverine like character who does energy blades. Uh, but I sure don't know my. I assumed it was just Wolverine. No, I, I don't those think three so. Three were supposed to just be Wolverine. I saw a character I didn't know that someone was referencing and went, All but right. I don't think they're in the cartoon. Like Psylocke is in the cartoon. And oh, Wolverine's I see. In the saying. cartoon. Yeah, but she's barely in the cartoon. All of this is very strange considering the design they went for. <laughs> it is. It is. Well, again, we'll 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 get to that. Uh, we're almost in. Don't worry. Transformers and related characters are trademarks of Hasbro, so fuck off. Don't use it. The Lost <laughs> Heed Martin uh, SR seventy one Blackbird associated emblems and logos copyright by America. They'll kill you. Includes three <laughs> figures, three Actually, accessories, yeah. instructions. They have the, the most basic military budget of any country in the world. It's true. Uh, figure scale of 8.5 inches. Don't eat the toy children uh, because you'll die. And then it has some other stuff as well, which we don't really need to know. So, yes, mm. Mikey. Yes. Um, This robot is is designed, I guess, to look a little bit like Cyclops. Yes, I specifically suppose. the very 90s. Because like, there's a bit of an uncanny X-Men thing going on at the moment. Yes. I've, I'm not reading it because who reads X-Men comics anymore? But... um. No one, because apparently the X Men turned into Nazis, basically. Hey. Um, but um, it's all based on the '90s cartoon, which okay. was very inspired by the Uncanny X Men days. So it's the 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 very '90s Cyclops outfit, like when people liked him. Did you say Cyclops? Cyclops. I said Cyclops. Okay. You heard. I clock. thought you said Cyclops. Yeah, but um, <laughs> no. So yeah, it's like really garish blue and yellow. Yeah, I don't mind that color scheme. I don't think no, the mold it's... for it is is particularly great. I don't think it looks terrible, but it does remind me of the... Do you remember the Star Wars crossover days? When I'm... Yoda would turn into a plane. Yeah, but people liked that Yoda. It was more the, the Anakins and stuff that people I don't think I don't think any of them were good. I think people liked the Yoda one because it was the best of a bad bunch. <laughs> um, I, well, I'll be honest. I think this guy looks a lot better than that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. But it reminds um, me of it. It, it yeah. has a lot of the things that make me go, oh, yeah. Huh. Um, I don't know. I kind of like him. Okay. Um, like one, I've always, that's the best Cyclops design. Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. By, by, by years. And yeah. it's also like, it's as I said, it's the time when you could like Cyclops. You know? It's true. Before yeah. they fucked him up. Yeah. And people say, they didn't fuck him up, they had a debt. No, they fucked him up. Oddly um, enough, he became worse when he got with uh, Emma Frost, who is also yeah. a terrible person. Yeah. Not character, but person. So and they got go. rid of her, and he, they just kind of left him as an asshole. Well, yeah, he'd been ruined at that point. <laughs> yeah. um, but then they brought back Gene for some god-awful reason. Yeah, you know, no one stays um, dead. Thanks, Barry. You're 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 on thin ice, man. Who? Me? Yeah. Why? They brought yeah. Barry back, and then all <laughs> everybody started coming back. It is actually Barry's fault. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm technically, not, I'm not joking. They, I technically they even brought Gwen back. Technically. Mm, yeah, not, yeah, that's fair. They found a roundabout way of doing it, but they brought Gwen back. Yeah. Um. Uncle Ben, the miniseries, coming soon. Um, <laughs> but um, I, the worst thing about it for me is the Jetfire kibble. I I think that really... I wish that cleaned up a lot more than it seems to. You mean to. like the the wings in the back and stuff? Yeah. Mm. Um, but I like the... I love the face design. I think the face is awesome. Um, I think it's very strange to have this set and include a teeny tiny Wolverine and a teeny tiny Sabretooth. Well, they can fight each other. But wouldn't... Why not have Cyclops? And Wolverine <laughs> fight each other. Well, have you seen the show? 
Yeah, yeah. There are quite a few scenes. I distinctly remember one where Wolverine punches him in the gut and says, be glad I didn't use the claws this time. <laughs> that they showed... were both very thirsty boys. They for were, Gene, they For were. some reason. Gene! I, ne- th- I can never find anything those voice actors did. Apart from that show. Oh, really? Like, it, <laughs> they must have done re- something. It, some of them are... Some of them... Did, like, it was not a well-known, like, voice cast. Weird. Like, it was I would that, say that, that... He was my Wolverine, by the oh, way. Oh, yeah. Like, I thought he was great. And, like, yeah. um, I think... Like, th- he did the video games, but I could never really find much he did. Oh, that's right. He did Marvel vs. Capcom. He did the yeah. game... Uh, yeah, but, but Cyclops did... didn't do Marvel vs. Capcom, oddly no, enough. No, no, he didn't. He did do the X-Men game that came out around the time, though. On PlayStation. Which one? Uh, it was a um, X Men beat 'em up. Um, was it? All, like it had all the it had all the cast from the. From was it a Capcom cartoon. one? Uh, no. Hmm. Don't um, remember then. But it was like using some more up to date costumes. But it would be like it would be Rogue, but it was Rogue from the cartoon. It was Gambit, mm, okay. and Gambit from the cartoon. Like, um, are you sure it wasn't Capcom? Because Capcom yeah. did an X Men game sure. before that. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. I don't care. Um, oh, fair, fair enough. <laughs> I, I, I would rather he came with a blast effect for his eyes. It, that would make a lot more sense. Yes, than saying, like, here's the claws from Wolverine and here's the claws from Psylocke. Yeah, the blade from Psylocke for for reasons, reasons. I guess. Like, yeah. um, it's just like, he's so specifically a character, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, in, in story, it's like, and, you know, Scott Summers is piloting a mech. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, mm. But I seriously, I love the face cult. I think that's really well done. Um, but yeah, I like him overall. I don't like him at sixty five dollars. Um, no, he doesn't or 65 seem to be euros worth that. or sixty five pounds or whatever he'll be when he comes over here. Um, but I do like him. But not enough to buy him. Oh, not at that money. I'm trying to save money for Gundams and a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Two That's Tyrannosaurus true. Rexes, both of which are leaders. One of which I only want to buy for shelf completion sake. <laughs> yeah, I, for me overall, I just don't think this works. I'm not a big fan. The colors work as they're trying to replicate Cyclops. Mm. I just don't think they look good on a robot design. Mm. Uh, there's something about the overall look, which again, like I say, just reminds me of the, the Star Wars crossover days. Um but the idea behind it is interesting, and I do like the box. The box mm. is very nice. It yeah, does remind me cool. of old stuff, so that that's nice. Really and they've the even got right. um, the cartoonish artwork of mm. Wolverine and Sabretooth on the side of the box as well, which I do appreciate as well. Yep. So, it's a weird one. It's a very uh, weird one. <laughs> can't say it's a massive surprise, just because, you know, it's they, they hold the license to cross over with, um, you know, the Hazard of <clears> the Marvel property, so... Uh, why not i suppose right will here's a question will we get some fiction i would be dubious because i'd say that that is jumping some licensing holes mm, maybe maybe i don't i don't know when marvel's such in a shitty place at the moment uh maybe they'll just be desperate to get any kind of mm. <laughs> comic sales who knows who knows but um because like the days of like the avengers crossover are long gone Thank God, that was a bad yeah, crossover. That was terrible, but that was also yeah. came back out at one of the worst times in Marvel's history in terms of comic book publications as well, mm, where they were being true. run by a literal madman. Um, <laughs> but um, like nowadays with the whole Disney thing, I, I would say it's probably harder to get a multimedia thing going. Mm, maybe. It's hard to say just because with um, Hasbro having the license to the toy production anyway, mm-hmm. they already have an in, so... yeah. Um, also, hilarious picture in the Amazon page, or the online oh, page. Oh, yeah, the, is that the, the, the mistransformed one? Yeah, where he seems to be dying. <laughs> yeah, come on, who took that photo and thought it was okay? Come on now. <laughs> that had to be like a joke one. Someone went, ah, they'll never put this, they'll never use it, and someone went, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's Friday now, I want to go home and drink. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Mikey, do you want to take us on to the next story? Ah, why not? So, 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 we have new images of Kingdom War for Cybertron Wave 1. So these are in-hand images of basically the entire first wave. We also have uh, leaked images of at least part of the second wave. Um, Mm. So we'll go through. We've also got box art. The various box arts are in here. Um, But... um, Black Rachne is in here. I won't spend a lot of time on her just because we it's very little new. Um, it is the sp- it is a decent looking spider and a decently show accurate version of Black Rachne you see next to the masterpiece in a few pictures. Yeah, I was like, cool. 
I would still like the masterpiece to go with my nice aid, but um, I think this is a, a pretty solid looking deluxe. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I agree. Yeah. Um, Megatron, I am going to spend a bit of time on. It's been confirmed that his tail doesn't come off. Oh, really? Um, I didn't know that. I thought it, I thought it hmm. did. That's a shame. Yes, so did everyone, actually. But um, So he, he, he has a sculpted hand, but you can't give him the, the show-accurate, you know, weaponless left arm. Hmm. Um, he is about as clunkily as a tyrann- an organic Tyrannosaurus-styled Megatron would be when you're going with that specific design. Sure. Um, but the sculpting looks really, really solid, and I've got to give some serious credit to the articulation on the Rex. Yeah. Um, there's now it is gappy and there is soft plastic around things like the neck for flexibility. Um, but it's got tail articulation. It's got good articulation all the legs. It's got side to side rotation in the head. That blew my mind. I've only ever seen that in the Planet Planet X Vulcan. Mm. You know, like that is really, really cool. And the actual face sculpt, like very Jurassic Park, but very, very cool. Yeah. Um, we see him next to the the masterpiece. I'll be honest. In terms of it, like the masterpiece is definitely like a higher end sculpt, but the paint scheme of the masterpiece does not compare well overall to this. I think no, they the... kind of went over. Is this the the original masterpiece Megatron, yeah, or is this the the re released version or I the other version the that had same. different look to it? I think it's the same. I don't I remember. Thought, no, because I'm pretty sure there was another version that they released later on that had a different look. Yeah, because his, his yeah. biceps are purple. Uh, sorry, oh. blue. I didn't know there was one, actually. I'm pretty sure there was. I don't I'm know. Sure. Hang on. Let's have a look. Because Jobby, Jobby reviewed the original. So yeah, I'm, I'm 80% sure that he didn't have uh, blue biceps. Let's make it go searching on Jobby's channel. I'll throw out as well, uh, while you're doing that, that the, the Kingdom Megatron is a lot purpler than I thought he'd be. Yeah, uh, the original pictures give this kind of lilac look. Yeah, like, is... probably you should argue he should be. Um, He is quite a deep purple in the show. I did go back and check. Is he that purple, though? Is he, he that, he's... like, saturated purple? He is, like, seriously, he is very, very deep. Mm. Um, no, like, the, the jobby one looks the same. Mm, okay, oh well. So, I, I know they've re-released him at one point or another, but it could yeah. just be... But yeah, like, um, cause like even in the masterpiece, that's a very deep purple. It's just broken up by all that splotches. Well, I think it's also got the the thing of it's got the metal sheen to it as well, so that yeah. helps kind of. I think like, make it not as just solid purple. I think the thing with the the leader is that the face is a bit too bright, right? And the underbelly and stuff have this sandy look, which I think could have been done a bit better. Hmm. Um. But overall, I think he looks good. What do you think? I think the mold looks good, but like I say, the the purple just throws me off. If the purple was more the same color as the the dinosaur skin, I think I'd be mm. a bit happy with it. But it, like I say, this, for me, it just feels it feels like. Do you remember the joke images we kind of saw from Takara originally, and we were like, "Whoa, what happened there?" Yeah, it's kind of yeah, well, it's kind of an in between stage of what we saw mm. originally, that crazy Takara version, and it's just sitting in between the two of them, going, "Hello, boys, I'll be the bridge between you." <laughs> uh, but otherwise, like like you said, the mold looks great for the amount that it can do. Mm. Um, next up, we've got Cheetor. Um, not much new here, except we have a much better view of his cheetah mode, mm. um, which I think looks great, honestly. I think with the limitation of doing a cat mode that transforms, I think they did a really good job. My opinion yeah, yeah. of the robot mode is basically the same. Sure, agreed, yes. Um, but overall, like the, the animal modes are these are working for me. Mm-hmm. Um, we've also got the the core commander uh, Optimus, so he is a small G1 Optimus. As we said earlier in the show, what can we say about a tiny Optimus mm. Prime? Um, then we've got Primal, who basically looks like Primal. Like it's yeah, it's it's really spot on. Um, I think the and... problem the the only issue is again mm. that in in Monkey Mode, like his groin mm. uh, looks a bit weird, but that's yes. that's really the the only issue. Yeah, I would say. yeah, and like. Before someone says something, yes, I know I'm saying like, oh my god, it's so accurate to be for that's complaining about accuracy. I've only seen this officially in Masterpiece once. I, mm-hmm. This has not been inundated for, in me 500 times for the last four years. Um, <laughs> A lot longer, let's be yeah. fair. Yeah, um, his robot mode looks good. They've got him with weapons from one of the 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 modulator fellows. Uh, I like the beast mode. I think I like the beast mode mostly because of that face. 
Mm, yeah, it's um, a really expressive face. There, I don't know if the picture's here, but someone showed him li- lined up with the more the optimists from the last couple of years. Mm. And then some, the, he's a bit shorter than them, right? And then someone, I saw a lot of snarky comments like, oh, I'm not going to pay that much, like, pay Voyager prices for a toy that's smaller than them. And I just sort of, I, I, I couldn't resist. I just put, like, hey, look, it's the middle one, the Earthrise Leader Optimus. Cost <laughs> twice as much. <laughs> Did you buy him? Hmm? Did yeah, you? I think I'll get Optimus Primal. How are you enjoying that trailer, baby? <laughs> yeah, where is it? In a box. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. nice. Um, <laughs> then, then we have, uh, Paleo Trex. Yeah, paleo, I still don't pa- like it. Paleo and T-Rex. I like the Dynamo. I think the Dynamo is a pretty decent sculpt. Um, yeah, so no, the, yeah, that's fair. Uh, the robot mode works for me when he's, like, the face works for me when it's got in the sort of club face. Right. I, I don't like the base face. And the robot mode is, it's getting, two things are throwing me off. It's quite spindly. Mm-hmm. And the paint work. It's there. Is, it it's... looks a, literally a bit shitty. Yeah, yeah. Like, the, do you mean the chest specifically? The chest, the head. Like, it's like it, someone, it, someone's it is actually a... like it is actually like a poo brown color that they've used to kind of just splosh over like yeah, really specific and areas. And it, it the, this mm. needed gradients and stuff, and it, it just looks like they just went. <laughs> okay, it's painted. Yeah, not even with a brush, but like like someone had poopy on the finger. Yeah, and smeared it basically. Yeah, yeah. Like um, when you said poopy at first, I was like, ah, oh, he just means it's bad. It's like, no, no, it actually looks like feces. Mm. Actual feces. It's weird. No, I'm not a fan of this uh, myself. I didn't like how it looked originally. Uh, I still don't like how it looked. I I still say that this is a downgrade from mm. the uh, the Titan. Sorry, the MicroMaster stations. But like you say, the 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 animal mode is quite nice and neat. Mm. I don't think you're gonna get amazing weapon modes from this though. No, it basically uh, arms and a various versions of bash your head in. Yeah, looks um, weird. The we've also got vertebrae in here. rat trap and vertebrae. Um, rat trap we've said a lot about over the year the yes. last the year over the last few months vertebrae these are the clearest photos we've seen so far decent dyno mode not the best but decent but for the size mm-hmm. of it i mean um i don't like the robot mode i would say this is much better than the other one though i maybe it's just like whereas the other one is spindly this is just like a solid block with spindly limbs so i don't i think they they both they don't really i don't see one is better than the other I, I do, because let mm. me point out, Mikey, there is no poopy paint on him. True, true. There is no poopy paint. Yeah. But his cro- his groin has teeth. Well, you know, have you not seen that movie called Teeth? Yeah, no, actually. I was going to say, I was going to say yes, but then I realized no, I haven't. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think we know what Mikey's watching this week. <laughs> and then Warpath. Hey, Warpath. Looks like he's wandered in from another set. Because he probably did, as we've discussed before. <laughs> and he looks like a very G1 Warpath. Um, he has to he has to surpass the Generations 1, which is an excellent toy still. So yeah. Well, this one's um, more G1 style than the, yeah. the Generations 1, which yeah, yeah, is yeah, a stylized yeah. version, at least. So there's that. They are yeah, different. It's, they it's just, not a H you know. tank. <laughs> I, I think the, the issue is that we've seen a lot of third parties do Masterpiece scale Warpaths in the past, uh, mm-hmm. or a recent past, so it's, I guess it's nice to have an official one, even if I don't care about Warpath personally. Hmm. Um, definitely, definitely. Um, we've also got lots of little cards and stuff, and the last one is Cyclonus, who looks like he's wandered in from yet another line. Because he probably did. I really want to like him. I like him. I think his face doesn't look as long and gangly as it did. I, I think it's still long and gangly, and I think his his shape is so rectangular in robot mode that it look it makes posing him not look good. Is that not what he looked like though? Is not that not what his show model was? The show model thickened him up a bit. This is this mm, ha- okay. this is this is very much like the toy, which was basically a rectangle with limbs. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I think um, I think the only issue he really has is when he moves his like his shoulder forward. Mm. Uh, and the wing kind of drops down behind yeah. him because obviously it's touched to the back of the the mm-hmm. arm. I think that's when posing looks a bit on the weird side because uh, those wings should obviously always preferably be behind him. Otherwise, uh, I'd like it. I'll, I'll be yeah. getting this. Um, I don't know. Um, I like Cyclonus. They have a picture of like next... design. So. They have a picture of him next to the Takara Cyclonus. 
uh, from uh, Combiner Wars. Oh yeah, who oh, has dear. the teeth? I love his face because his face is so wee and scrunchy. <laughs> yeah, and remember, there is a Galvatron head within his tumbly. Yeah, that's alive. I'm going, Neh. um, <laughs> but yeah, I I think he's a like you know what he is to me. Someone mm-hmm. saw the show model straight on, and they never thought to look at it from the side. I can see that. Yeah. Um, I saw some pictures of the transformation, and it does look like there's some interesting stuff going on with the cockpit. Like, mm. it basically collapses in, but I'll it be curious. You know what it reminded me mm. of? It reminded me of a few extra steps more than the Generations version. Mm. Like, do you remember how with the Generations version, for the tip, you just kind of pushed it out? Yeah, 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 yeah. It I looks like that. they're kind of more Russian dolling that, which is kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I'll be I'll be curious to see these guys in proper review soon. Um, yeah. And... And also, like, someone pointed this out. You know the Beast Wars eye they have in the box? Yes. The actual pupil is, it's the arc crashing. Yeah, I only just noticed that while I was going mm. through these images. I think that's quite clever. It's a great idea, yeah. Mm. Smirt. Idea. Hmm. Idea. Um, you're not laughing, Andy. I, I am on the inside, I promise. I don't believe you. I <laughs> good. I was lying. <laughs> um, the Wave 2 leaks are Leader um, Ultra Magnus. Woo. Who is a retool, it seems, of the Earthrise Optimus. The Earthrise Optimus? Mm. Oh, okay. I thought they were retooling the Siege Ultra Magnus into Earthrise Ultra Magnus. No, Sorry, into, into Kingdom 1. It's the, the, the cab is the same, I think. Ah, uh, okay, so what it'll be, it will be, uh, the trailer will actually do something this time around. Hopefully. Well, no, it will, it'll have to, it'll have to turn into his armor, so it'll have a purpose at the very least. <laughs> um, we've also got Inferno. The, yeah, as, as we, we don't, we, we're not joking about this, <laughs> the no. wrong one. Yeah, no, this is, you, you had one job. Yeah. And you fucked it up. I saw people say when I mention when I put up the joke again of uh, we're not joking. Uh, they went, oh, well, they could use the same name again. They could they could actually do Beast Wars Inferno. And I, I thought to myself, I could comment back saying I I don't think that's going to happen, even though mm. it would be nice. Yeah, I, I don't think it's going to happen, to be but, honest. But I I just want to emphasize we're seriously not joking. No, this is the wrong toy. It uh, makes sense why they did it, but I think they should have put this in the smelly Odyssey line instead. Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. Um, Huffer. Somewhere right. Set Erickson is, is, has tears of joys. He'd be the only one. <laughs> <laughs> Again, like, Huffer as a deluxe, like, the fact that Huffer's a deluxe seems weird. Why didn't they put him in the, the small category, you know, with the, the rat trap scale? That's what yeah. I'm confused by. Maybe you shouldn't trap poor old Huffer in your concepts of miniature. Well, it's too late. He's miniature. He's lame as well. What's your point? Um, we've also got Air Razor. Um, we don't have like some of these are out of box, but they're not very good images. So yeah, Air Razor's box. Her wings seem to be tucked in at the back of the box. I guess yeah, they have mm. to be. I guess so. It's diff. Like we don't really know what her her bird. That's an osprey. Uh, but uh, her bird mode looks like um, hmm. or our robot mode. The, the last one uh, is. Is Dinobot a uh, Voyager Dinobot now? Ah, no, because the, there is another mm. one in the the four mm. shots. Uh, there's oh, uh, oh, yes. Eraser, there's and then there's the the, the animal. The, yeah, the, the Styracosaurus one. Rat tonight, I think he is. He's another modulator. Deluxe he looks modulator. very thick. Yes, he looks like a thick boy. Yeah. Um, and a re-release of Earthrise Darcy. <laughs> the best RC toy. Yes, no one had any issues with her. Mm. Um, but yeah, Dinobot, he is getting a Voyager. Um, the heads, again, we don't have a great image. The head sculpt looks solid. Looks really good head sculpt. Yeah. And um, there is an interesting cheek going on with the chest. I find that really interesting. Um, they basically have some fake parts come, the raptor head falls down to form the chest, and then they've got fake parts on the side to give him the very wide, uh, white eyed look that his chest has in the show. Mm hmm. Which I think is really cool. I want to see this toy in full, obviously. Um, but I I am, to be honest, the beasts, overall, the beasts have been, you know, hitting, hitting it out of the box for me. 
Yeah, the most interesting part. I, I think probably from a design aspect as well, the mm. most interesting stuff they're doing as well, apart from the, the fossilizers, which are a yeah. bit on the messy side. Yeah, uh, the fossilizers are a concept, not a necessarily an idea. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I, I think Dinobot is looking like he could be pretty solid. Again, like I want to see whole body shots and everything else. Agreed. But, uh, I yeah. saw very little bitching about these leaks, to be blunt. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you remember when everybody was bitching about the leaks? And then they stopped. I don't know why they... Why did they stop? Because they liked what was being leaked. Oh, okay. Is that what it was? Okay. Mm. (laughs) Um, So, yeah. Uh, Overall thoughts on Wave 1 and 2? Um, There are definitely some that I'm interested in. Like, Black Arachne is still on the top of the list. Uh, Mm. I'm not sure if there's anybody else... Maybe Air Razor, but I wa- th- this is the issue with the Wave 2 stuff. Yeah. Uh, I want to see proper images of them. Uh, Dinobot yeah. Yeah, could yeah. be a contender, though. Uh, 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 actually, Primal oh, would yeah. be one as well, I'd like. Hmm. But the Megatron's um, uh, color scheme is just putting me off a little bit personally, which is a shame because I like the look of it. Hmm. Um, well, I'm, I'm definitely going to be getting Megatron at some point, but... Um... Yeah, I, I'll at least want to handle most of those, if I even if I can't afford to buy them. Um, That'd be fun, yeah. Which is, I've, I've said it before, and then this is not a joke, it's nice to see mainline Transformers and go, oh, I could buy these. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Which, you know, it's been a while. Especially for you. It's been a long, long time um, for Mikey. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, so Andy, take us on to the last bit of news. Ah, right. This is a quick one uh, and uh, maybe good news for 2021 as TFCon Baltimore has been announced for October 22nd to the 24th at the Hilton uh, Baltimore Inner Harbor. I I suppose that's a hotel, not just a harbor. So (laughs) get your booking in now, uh, assuming that people can actually travel, uh, which who who fucking knows in this day and age. (laughs) Uh, But maybe next year you'll actually be able to celebrate a, a Transformers convention and see human beings again. Wouldn't that be a novel idea? Wouldn't that be fun? I think so. Mm. I think that would be fun. But there you go. Yeah, that's it. That's all of our news, Mikey. Yep. Um, let's hope that positivity will lead us to the future. That's not how these things work, but that would be nice. <laughs> so, Mikey, what have you been up to this week? What have you done for oh, fun, yeah. son? Well, as I said at the start, like basically it's either work or worrying about work at the moment. So it's like, I've watched so many YouTube clips of bizarre... At- gaming anime girls mm-hmm. um which i'm still in, like i i still just really enjoy the entire structure of it it's just it's just fun and it's nice especially at the moment just to have some fun yes agreed um, fun is surprisingly fun yes and rare these days yes um <laughs> but, 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 but oh the shit the robot spirits phantom gundam came into stock it's the only Oh, no, no, no. I can't afford to buy a Phantom Gundam. I want a Phantom Gundam, but it's too expensive. The, did you say um, Robot Spirits? Yeah, it's the only version of it that they've ever done. No, you don't want that. You want to the, wait for a model kit. Well, there's, a, there's an NX Edge, which I would also like. But mm-hmm. I can buy figures still, Andy. I'm not just like... I'm not that guy. But, but Mikey, they're not in scale with the other Gundams. And, and the, the scale is a nonsense thing we all invented. <laughs> No, not with uh, the the Gundam kits. The model kits are in scale with each other all the but time. But do I care? Yeah. I'm not sure I do. Yeah, you, you won't get a build if you buy a figure. True, but I could still just buy it and have a really cool design that in 25 <laughs> years they haven't done a, to- a model kit of. I thought you were going to say and disassemble it and then build it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. But um, I could repaint it into the ghost. But um, uh, so what have I been doing? I started building Metal Gururumon. Speaking of Ooh. building. Um, just got his head done. Um, ra- realized I used up most of my red paint on the Justice. Just the Justice Knight. Um, oh. So I had to break out the metallic red marker, which I haven't used in ages. Um, Is so- it still working okay? Yeah, 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 it's working away. It's just, like, it doesn't look as nice. Mm, okay. uh, just because it's, it's quite... Like, I like that really deep red. Um, but, hey, uh, it's either that or stickers, and no. Um, not if I can help it, anyway. And But, yeah, like, I, I, I did the head, and it looks... Like, it actually turned out really well. I'm, I'm really happy with it, so I'll, I'll be building that in the next week or two. Um, but, yeah, figure eyes. Uh, came with a really good stand, which I built first, actually. And, like, has so many different attachments... 
like 15 attachments, I think. Is this the the one that has an adjustable? Um, yeah, it, it's uh, you can lock two points on it. Yeah, and you yeah. also get these like stands that you put in inside the grooves. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, so... yeah. You get them with a few kits, but the they're, they're mm. kind of rare unless you just buy them on their own. And then you can connect the bases together as well, can't yeah, you? Yeah, but but like the, I was really surprised by how many actual like attachments there because the, the instructions only tell you to take out the attachments used for metal guru man because mm. his, his, how he goes on is a bit unique but um clearly this is... i don't know what you do like there's some of the some of the the longer thin rods which yeah. have no idea what they're supposed to be for <laughs> yeah but i'm looking at this like this thing could be used for everything like it, oh it's, yeah it's got grips and claws and holes and pegs and everything else um so yeah, I've uh, been building that. Watched a bit more Gundam X. Um, enjoying hey. that show. I think I'll probably get another week or two in it. All right, uh, okay. Because yeah. the way the rate I'm going. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a, an enjoyable show. I I didn't realize it until actually today that I really like the fact that Garode is just a guy. Yeah, like he's a kid. Uh, yeah, like he's not an ace pilot, or he's not Kira who or, or <laughs> Amuro who fell into a machine and whoops, it turns out I'm a ge- I'm a genetic Superman. Yeah. Like, he's a guy who, who is in a, sh- a thing. He's an okay pilot because he's got a little bit of experience and he has to learn how to be good. Yes. And and as, when they point out that that machine is too good for you, they're kind of literal. It, yeah, yeah. Uh, also, the, the, the X has grown on me uh, a fair bit. Um, I like the upgraded version of it more than the original. The double X. Uh, no, not the, no, not the. I'm not at the double X oh, yet. The, is that where it has a weird shield thing? Yeah, the kind of unicorn mm. shield. That's um, right. Because it gets rid of the the satellite thing on the back, and that I I realized that was what was really throwing me off the asymmetry of that. Okay. Um. So the core design actually fairly good, and I know there is a kit of that. Uh, yes. Yeah. Old, there is. Yeah. Um. It's a decent one too. Yeah, and there's some there, there's some good um good like uh, standard mech designs in the show. Like one, and I as far as I know, there is no kit of it. The Bertigo. Which one's um, that? It's uh. I'll get you a picture. Um. But it, it's. It it works quite well in show, and I I um I I quite like it. No, but there we go. Um, and like it has it has an armor mode as well. Oh, uh, yeah, that one's not done, unfortunately. Yeah, which is a shame because it's quite like it's got it got got that kind of Zeta vibe I like. Yeah, do you know why it's not been done? Because they hate me. Uh, because it doesn't look like a Gundam, is what I would say, and really? it's also from After War Gundam X, so then it's yeah. even less likely to get done. I, 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 mean, I mean, I should just like every time someone says that to me, I'm going to throw a dick to sit their head. Yeah, but or at to least be the fair, box that, that, like their head. no one suspected they'd ever do a dick this. Yeah, no, because someone or all right, a bound dog. People like the bound dog. Yeah, the bound dog's great. Yeah, but that's but from people... Zeta. Zeta's still a very popular one. Yeah, but they can all pretend it, like again, I, like you you mentioned, you really are onto the real robot thing. Just because I was like, I'm sorry, the the gun that the phoenix in narrative is a what? Mm-hmm. Um, but like that's that's because like anytime I mention Gundam or like the like the the stuff from Zeta or Crossbone or any of the weirder designs, I see people really losing their shit. This doesn't belong in my show. My show is the grounded military show. This doesn't belong in my show. Uh and I'm just like. That 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 thing's alive because it ate someone. I mean, basically. Also, ghosts. Yep. I feel I feel the real th- part of this show left a while ago. Mm. Probably around mid eighties. Mm. And isn't coming back. Um. But it's just fascinating to me. The psychology around Gundam and like it's kinda like Ava and like you hear like I I know I I like Ava but I don't like any other robot shows. Mm. So I'm really I'm a I'm I'm really I don't want to say snooty, but occasionally snooty about what I'm watching. <laughs> I mean people people get snooty about things yeah. they like all oh, the God. time, so we we I'm not I'm not innocent of that, but yeah. I it's just fascinating to me. Um so yeah, Gundam X. Uh, I would say it's a worthwhile show, especially if you're into um, a '90s anime. Um, but yeah, it's it's standing up really well. And like, I've now gotten hold of a lot of Gundam shows to watch. A lot of Gundam shows to watch. Um, so I will 
hopefully I'll be able to actually have some time to do anything else because I have a few other things I've got lined up. But uh, I I will be plowing through various Gundam things in the in the weeks and months to come. Because what did what did I actually end up with in the end? Oh, give me a second. Uh Zeta, because I still haven't actually finished Zeta. I just I got distracted and I never went back to it. So I will I've got that double Zeta. Uh, War in the Pocket, Starless Memory. Great. It looks I, I don't. I don't think Double Zeta is great. At least, yeah. Uh, but yeah, War in the Pocket and Starless Memory. Mm -hmm. uh, the Eight Mobile Suit Team. That's very uh, good. Victory. I've got. I don't know if it's Eww. any. I don't know how. It, uh, Wing and Endless Waltz. Because you know what? I might as well watch. I've never seen the 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 original version. Hmm. Okay. So. Um. Do do do. I do not have any of the seeds because no, thank you. No, you're good. You're uh, good. Igloo, mobile suit <laughs> igloo, igloo. I've got that stargazer, which is a seed thing, but isn't uh, involving the main stuff, so I don't know if that's good or not. No. Uh, double O. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, unicorn did mm -hmm. not get age in the end. Did he get origin? Uh, yes. Okay. Good. Uh, I didn't get Reconista in G either. Good. That's that's meant to be complete papi poo poos. <laughs> I I saw an episode of it and I was really turned off when it came on. Yeah. Uh, Iron Blooded Orphans and Thunderbolt got both of them. Mm -hmm. uh, Twilight Access narrative. To, just so that if I'm doing you, Quantum Eyes will do the whole thing. And Re Rise and Build Divers. Uh, build Fighters rather. I was gonna say you've seen those though, haven't you? Yeah, but I like Re Rise. Okay. <laughs> I want I want to hold on to it. Um. And yeah, next one up is Hathaway's Flash next year. But I haven't, I'm toying with the idea of getting some of the SD Gundam shows, but I don't know anything about them. Cause Nor I do I, so I can't help you. Yeah, because like, I, you know me, I like the SD designs a lot. Um, But I don't know which are the good versions and which are the bad in terms of mm. shows. Sure. Um, And there's, there's quite a lot. Like there's one, like, yeah, there's one at the moment uh, going on Sengoku uh, Soketsuden. Like, that's the one airing at the moment. Maybe I should try that out. But, um, so yeah, that's a lot of Gundam. Um, realize I haven't been watching Ruby. I actually realized this about a, an hour ago. I realized I have, I'm, I'm a couple of episodes behind, so I have to catch up on that. Did watch New Mandalorian. Um, perfectly fine episode with about 50 minutes of plot and not a lot of action. A lot. Hmm. Uh, not the best action. There, there's this weird thing. When people are running in this show, they all kind of jog. Oh, okay. It's very strange. Um, They're being healthy. Was, Maybe, but everyone's always still saying it's the best show that ever aired, and I'm just like, no, not even in the top thousand. What? But, what's primal, Mikey? I don't know, Andy. Better, I think, is the word. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but putting that aside, Mandalorian is a perfectly average to occasionally below average sci-fi that a lot of people are loving, and they're doing that thing I always say, which is if it's out part. Lar largely, I think, because of social media, which is basically everyone's voice has the same value, where so one person says, I love it! And they're just like, okay, we have to love it too. Hmm. I think there's a lot of that. Uh, I think there's a lot of an interesting culture emerging around um, these kind of shows. I was going to say sci-fi, but it's 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 magic. It's a science. I wouldn't magic. say I wouldn't say it's been emerging. I, I think it's this has been a thing on the net for a while, though, to be I fair. I blame surely. Game of Thrones, to be completely honest. <laughs> A lot of people blame Game of Thrones for very different things, though. Um, it was never as good as y'all made it out to be. And I remember was, you did a podcast. It was all right. It was all right. Yeah. It was all right. I remember the podcast you and Gruff did back in the day. I, I really enjoyed it back in the day. You were wrong. I don't know. I think it, I think it had some really interesting stuff going on, which then it just kind of decided I to, to do nothing with. Very derivative. Hmm. Because I read a lot of high fantasy growing up. Ah, I and didn't. it did nothing original. That's and fine. It, well, you don't need to do original things. You just need to do it well. And I think I don't it think did, it did at it the time. Well, I think I think I think when I never liked out, Game of Thrones. Basically, I was there, I'd be around people's houses and they'd have it on. I'd be just like, we want something else, please. Um, That's how I was with Smallville. I've I think I more suffered more episodes. than you, though. I've only seen more th three episodes of Smallville, so I honestly can't comment. I had to watch more, even though I hated <laughs> it and strongly um, said I hate the show multiple times. <laughs> um, but yeah, the big thing this week was I started playing Yakuza Kiwami. Uh, it went up on sale on 
the Black Friday thing on PSN, and I was like, I've been kind of tempted to try a Yakuza game for a few years now. And Which one like, is oh. this one? So, Yakuza, do you know... Okay, this is a reference. This is not why I bought it, but this is the only reference I can think of. Kiryu Coco. Oh, yes. You know she has a, a, a mobster game she loves? Right. It's it's that series. Well, I know what Yakuza is. I just mean yeah. which Yakuza oh, game is it? Oh, uh, it's the first one. Lots um, of them. Kiwami is a remake of the first game. Oh, um, okay. Apparently is, they it, added... is it Yakuza Zero? Or is that a prequel no, 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 to that? that? Y- y- Yakuza Zero. This came out after Yakuza Zero. And it, right. it, apparently they took a lot of um, mechanics from Zero. But this uh, is okay. the original game from 2005. Uh, remade with a lot apparently a lot of gameplay and narrative stuff added apparently they expanded a lot of the story okay um but yeah i'm a few hours into that now and i'm really enjoying it um i am instantly in love with the character of kiryu kazuma mm-hmm. uh the guy is the, ba- the basic premise of the game is Ka- kiryu is a uh, a yakuza but he's like the nice guy thief like if you pick a fight with him he will break your bones but he will not kill you and he's very calm and controlled and just kind of awkward around the girl he likes and everything else. And he's, he's gr- he grew up in an orphanage with two friends. And uh, yeah, he's about to inherit a family and he's going to be head of the Yakuza. And it's constantly said like, oh, his group will be a bit like nicer than the rest when he's in charge. Um, and then a murder happens and he takes the blame, basically. Oh no! And he goes. He goes to prison for ten years. So uh, it's the game is every game occurs, from what I understand, in the year it's published. So right. uh, there's a lot of flashbacks in this, and so the main the the flashbacks and the pre the prologue are all set in two thousand uh, in ninety five, I think. Mm. And yeah, he comes out of prison. He's trying to find out what's going on with his friends. Bad shit has gone down, and also there's a little girl involved. Um, and yeah, so the game has a lot of personality. Uh, Kiryu's actor is fantastic. Like, so much emotion and expression from a guy who very little expression and like one one look. He has one look. And and it is basically looking through you like daggers, despite the fact he usually means well. Hmm. Um, and all, like, they, they build up the Yakuza thing. They do not play it down. It's quite violent. Um, it's not like, oh, we're all, these are the good guy mobsters. It's like, no, there is a good guy mobster. The rest are probably just mobsters. Um, character development is very solid. I like the pacing a lot. I like all the characters introduced so far. Um, it's at times incredibly Japanese. One of the, mi- one of the submissions so far has been called the dangers of the F cup. <laughs> and you can go into an adult video store. Yep. Uh, you can ask for various movies at the moment. They don't have anything in there. They said they're out. Oh, those are all taken. You can also sing karaoke um, and gamble and a bunch of other stuff. Um, and yeah, there's like I know in the later games they bring in like they got Gravor idols to do like full sequences for it. Um, but um, yeah, uh, it's a gameplay is an RPG brawler. Um, so you have random battles and stuff like that. But but it's like you, you use combos and, and things. Um, I'm getting used to the combat. It's not something I'd usually be very good at um but i'm at least like i think that i've gotten better since i've started playing which is good Mm -hmm. but yeah um i i got it for like six euros on psn because it's all right that's um i'm liking it a lot i'm I'm really enjoying the story um and i really like the cat like i am instantly like seriously i'm instantly in love with kiryu like the guy has me like, there, like f- 10 minutes in, there was a moment with him. And I'm like, oh, why am I getting emotional this far into simp. the game? Uh, simp. Yeah. You don't simp for Kiryu, Andy. You simp I don't know. If I, if I ask Coco you, if she simps for Kiryu, I think she'd say yes. I would say, like, you simply accept reality. <laughs> I like, remember I played one of the, the Yakuza games. I don't remember mm. which one. And it was on the... <sighs> Was it on the PlayStation or the 360 or something like that? And I, I just couldn't get into it. There was too much, like, reading dialogue. Uh, and oh, I yeah, lost no, interest it's, in it, it. it's quite a dialogue-heavy game, but, like, I'm... Uh, it's not audio. Like, if it was audio talking, I'd be fine with it, but it was there's, just solid reading without any still, di- audio. I would say there's still a lot of audio, but it is very much, like, it is that game where, like, okay, key things are audio, and then there's a lot of reading. Yeah, I got kind of tired with it. I remember um, I ended where... Um, he went to an orphanage or something like that, and I was running around this orphanage. I was like, "I'm done. <laughs> I um, couldn't finish it myself." But no, um, I'm, I'm really into it. 
I'm I'm like you know me like I I like games like that. Sure. So I I am digging it. Um, yeah, that's my week really. What about you, Andy? Hmm. Uh, what have I been up to? I've been doing a lot of painting. I've been finishing off some Necrons and basting up some more Necrons and getting those things painted as well. So that's been eating up a lot of time uh, when I've had the free time, at least. Mm. Uh, streaming as per usual, um, as you do, as I do. Mm. And uh, that's that's been about it. I mean, it's been a pretty standard week, I'd say. I did a, a podcast with George today uh, over on the Fluff and Hammer. And yeah, that's it. Nothing else. Mm. Nothing else. You know, very simplistic week. Uh, mm. Nothing new I've watched either because, like I say, I've finished all of Star Trek Next Gen and there's nothing new to watch. So I'm going to probably get Higurashi and catch up with that, the new series, and see if it's any good or not. Mm. Just for something new to watch in bed. So, yeah, that'll, that's unfortunately my week. It's uh, been pretty simple. Lots of painting, though. Lots and lots of painting. Mm. Yeah. Well, I guess this is a good time to wrap up the show, Mr. Mikey. Where could be- oh, no, hang on. We've got questions. I almost forgot. Oh, my I God. I know. Uh, we have one from Christoph Carlson. Uh, and let's see where it actually starts because uh, Facebook's not very good. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's go. And I agree with Andy and Mikey not going like Ghostbusters uh, answer the call. Oh, 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 okay. And I agree with Andy about Mikey... Not going to like Ghostbusters to answer the call. Is that the, the is that the female movie? I thought it was just called Malik. Ghostbusters. Don't know. I assume it is. Uh, it I has know both a comic the... which is actually very good because I've read an issue of it. Mm, it has both I that very good. Bath Dos. Uh, oh, Bathos. I think he meant Bathos humor. Uh, ah. You keep you keep going on about and lazy Hollywood. Uh, we hire improv comedians, so why even write jokes? Problem. Yeah, it, that's very true. That's uh, that movie suffers a lot from that. But the characters mm. themselves were saved when they showed up in the crossover comic with IDW Ghostbusters. It's almost like they needed a good writer or something. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, who knew also I've noted that Mikey refers to the TMNT Ghostbusters crossover in uh, in singular singular uh, do you know that, that there's two of those right yes, uh, and I'd say do. the second one is even better uh, I like them both uh, the there's first also a part... Power Rangers TMNT, TMNT crossover which was very strange uh, I remember the live action version in the 90s when they yeah, did this that. Is that this this is the turtles become rangers because of course they do ah see they didn't do that in the in the crossover <laughs> with uh the live action tv till show no, no they did they did ride the boards though they did that is true they did do that uh i think this is the first part of christoph's question but like you say kind of wigged it around on the facebook so let's not forget dino's biggest role and typical movie nonsense and he sends over uh dark of the moon chapter four mirage what's this I don't remember what this is. Dark Moon Chapter Four Mirage. Oh, it's from it's from Transformers Three: The Game. Oh yeah. Oh oh, I think it's Dino. It's Dino's. Dino's. Sorry, yeah, I said Dino's. It's Dino's uh, biggest role in the the thing. So that's the thing. It was made by High Moon Studios, but it was the one that no one liked. I I I added that part in because no one liked this one. I played it once, and I think I played like a level. Yeah, because it was the shit version of uh, Fall of Cybertron. Also, David K owns a Jabby the Hung t-shirt, and I find he that does. I- I'm sure at some point they're gonna meet and kiss. I, 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 I'll be honest. I think one day he'll say, "Put it in my ass." I, I don't think, know which one you're talking what, about. <laughs> I don't know either, but I think one of them will say it to the other. And I think the other one will say, "Hmm, yes." <laughs> <laughs> and again, don't know which one we're talking exactly, about. Exactly, <laughs> who knows? Who could say? <laughs> what a strange friendship. But uh hey, good good for Jobby. I'm sure he's uh he's 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 beaming with, with pleasure, I would Swooning. hope. Him and me had a d- talk about Digimon in the week. I saw, I was like, my god, look at Mikey being a social butterfly. Yes, I talk occasionally, but I'm glad that yeah. I'm not the only one seeing these problems with that show. <laughs> <laughs> I, I only briefly looked at it because I saw uh, Digimon and I was like, ah, I don't really care. And I, I thought you two were arguing about something that I was like, ah, it's fine. No, I, just like, I, I, it, I agree. I agree. No, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Bring out the bludgeon clubs. <laughs> clubs made out of actual bludgeon. Oh, no. That's terrible. <laughs> uh, we have a message from Tentoban 4. 
Okay, now that I won't have to worry about spoilers for the comic show, uh, for non patrons let's talk Annihilation! Exclamation uh, mark. Like how it makes sense for Mikey to not have heard of Annihilus as he mostly keeps himself in the negative... Uh, I think he's meant to say negative zone. Uh, some intel... Like, what's he saying about me? <laughs> uh, that you probably wouldn't have heard of Annihilus. Cause I was like, is he saying I'm zone. negative? Because if one more person says that to me, there's going to be some problems. <laughs> <laughs> you do complain a lot, Mikey. That's I okay. don't complain a lot. I really <laughs> don't. I'm quite a chipper person. I saw you complaining. What was it? I saw you complaining earlier in the week again about... Was it Evangelion or was it something else? That's not complaining, Andy. That's simply like the moment hits and you have to say the truth. <laughs> It it crops up a lot with you though. It's like it, at some point someone must like say say a word with E V and A in it next to each other. <laughs> and you go ah! Just my start screaming. Evangeline. Get out of my house! <laughs> Get the fuck out of my house, you piece of shit! <laughs> I, mostly it comes up if I'm like browsing a uh, uh, browsing a shop and it's just like oh new Evangelion toys go away. I don't want you. Not here, <laughs> not now. Uh, yeah, as I say, um, negative zone uh, with Fantastic Four and other heroes does something to piss him off. Piss them off, I think it's probably meant to be. Uh, mm-hmm. Like, uh, like say, uh, building a Civil War super prison in his backyard. Uh, not literally, but it's uh, fun to meme about. Yes. Mm. Yes. I-, I think I think that was a thing in the negative zone, but I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the reason why not ma- many people have heard of Annihilus, because, you know, he usually just hung out in the Fantastic Four comics, and was not a frequent villain either. Mm. But that's true. Yeah. That's why I like uh, Annihilation, because you get to see really cool villains who you barely ever got to saw. Or just characters in general who you ever you barely ever got to see. Mm. You le- it was like learning about all these new characters that you're like, oh, these guys are pretty cool. I like them. And then years later, movies made about them and they're completely ruined, and you go, oh, well, never mind. Yeah, I do, like, I do like Drax in Annihilation a lot more than Drax in uh, the comics. But Mikey, what about the funny? He takes everything literally. I mean, I'm glad some people found a connection to the concept of the character when they did that. That's that's mm-hmm. cool that people felt included. Yes. It doesn't make it funny. It just means it's inclusive. I guess. I guess. Inclusion is good. Not always funny, yeah. though. <laughs> Right, uh, Mr. Mikey, where can people find you on the internet unless you have questions you want to throw at me right now? Uh, are you, in fact, a horse? Uh, no, I'm, in fact, a donkey, which isn't a horse. I've, it's al- a I've always known you're an ass. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> I- I'd make a joke about dying alone right now, but we're all in quarantine. We're all dying alone. It's true. Um... <laughs> um... Why am I laughing at that? Because <laughs> <laughs> um, accepting yeah, uh, reality is the first step to humor. Oh my god. god. That's right. I'm just going to say the amount of casual sex that will probably sprout up when lo- lockdown and the vaccine is out. Like, it's probably going to, like, the amount of STDs in the world will skyrocket. <laughs> um, so, anyway, um, if you've got any feedback or anything, please send it to themoonbase2 at gmail.com or on Facebook or on Twitter or on Libsyn or on the Weebly or on all the other places. Um, we really appreciate it. Um, yes. We we know we only get the same couple of people, but at least they try. <laughs> um, but, yeah, like, seriously, like, uh, I love getting feedback. Um, yeah, it's fun. Otherwise, we're basically talking into the void here. Um... Uh, if uh, you want to c- contact me about anything, it's Irish Paleo on Twitter. And yeah, Andy, what about you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter, CCTFW on YouTube as Cobra Commander TFW. You can find this podcast on Moonbase 2 Forums on Twitter, iTunes, Facebook, Lips, and YouTube as Moonbase 2 Transformers Podcast. You can head over to ccbunker.weebly.com if you want to find us that way as well. And we're also on... Did I say YouTube is Moonbase 2 Transformers Podcast? If I didn't, I just said it there, so you can go that way as well. <laughs> uh, you can also find me on Twitch as CCTFW, where I usually do a stream on video games uh, mm. from about 11 o'clock in the evening UK time till about uh, like one or half one in the morning UK time. Mm. Uh, I also did it on, on a Saturday between 8 in the evening and uh, half 10 in the evening, give or take. Mm. And you yeah. did Minecraft most recently, wasn't it? Yes, I did Minecraft on this Saturday. Uh, today I will be doing Demon X Machina. Yeah, I'm really game. annoyed that. Is that any good? Because I was watching the play the playthrough a bit and I'm just like, I, it's on Switch and Steam. 
it is on Switch and Steam, on, and that's why it. Why aren't you on other? Why aren't you on other platforms, sir? I have no idea. Uh, it's it seems to be okay. Like if you like the Armored Core games, I think it's going to mm. tickle your pickles. I do um, like Armored Core games. They might. I think it was designed by at least one or two of the people that worked on an Armored Core, mm. so there is quite a bit of uh, stuff to it. Um, it's hard to say because I'm so very early in the game. I, mm. I've pretty much been doing really hard missions for my current level, so it's been making it a bit more tricky. Because mm. uh, there's like an online room where you meant to go in with like multiple people and then kind of hit the uh, hit like hard enemies to grind for loot and parts. Mm. So I kind of did that on my own because I was like, I want to play the game, but I can't keep going on the story because I need to wait for a stream. Ah. Uh... So I did that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's uh, one of the games I'll be doing tonight, uh, which mm. won't be any good because you'll be hearing this uh, the, the, the next day. So I don't know what I'll be playing on Monday. I'll be doing something, though. What could you play? That would be good. I've got Monster Hunter, which I'll probably go back to. I can hunt dim mm. monsters as I'm getting through that. Uh, I finished Code Vein finally, which was nice. Mm. In the end, I didn't like it. I keep going back to Code Vein after a couple of months, playing it for a couple of hours and then go, going away and thinking, I'll come back to this. It's not good Dark Souls is how I would describe it. It's got <laughs> interesting ideas, but man, the boss fights are boring. Mm. They are boring. I have no idea what happens in that fucking story either. It's messy storytelling. Mm. I do not like it. I, 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 I'm going to have yeah. to read a, watch a lore video on, on it at some point. It's it's a weird one for me. I really like that character maker is insane. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. It's fun. Um, but I was like, I I wasn't like I'm not crazy. Like I am gonna commit sacrilege here. I'm not actually crazy about the Dark Souls structure as a game. Never have been. It okay. requires too much dodging and stuff. And like every game I play, I am charge in and do as much damage as possible guarding it for people who have time <laughs> oh you'd be better at, have you tried bloodborne then because that's much more of that i have it somewhere okay um, yeah so bloodborne like... is like if you take damage if you rush in uh you can get your health back if you do mm. damage to the enemy uh, but um code vein i was just kind of like uh, i just don't find the gameplay great no no they've got some interesting ideas in there but man mm. <sighs> Like, some of those bosses really rely heavily on you using the right gifts, like the extra skills that you pick up along the way. If you don't use those, you're going to have a way harder time. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there you go. I'm glad that's over with, luckily. So that's good. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Mikey, and we will catch you next week, and hopefully we'll, me and you will do a woo-woo at some point. Yes, this, we this need week. to. Yes, we do. All right, catch you later, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>